Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and War of the Spark is upon us. So the set is officially here. Planeswalkers galore, and uh, we're gonna be playing some sealed right now. Try to build up the collection, and then we'll get to some uh, constructed videos after. So let's jump right into it. Let's play some sealed. So we've been saving gems. We've been saving coins. We want to crack this set as much as possible. What do we have here? So. Some pretty nice cards so far. Uh, Dreadhorde Butcher, great for the Aristocrats or Aggro builds. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player or Planeswalker, put a 1-1 counter on the Butcher. And when it dies, it deals damage equals its toughness. We have Jace, where if you mill yourself out, you win the game. Lab Maniac style. Um, then we get to put the top two cards of our library in the graveyard and draw a card. And then it's minus to draw seven cards. We have Neheb. It's a four mana, five, four trample. Whenever it deals combat damage, you can discard any number of cards. If you do draw that many and add that much mana, and you get, basically get to reuse the mana. We have Feather, which is used uh, basically whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets a creature you control, exile that card instead of putting it in your graveyard as a result. If you do, return it to your hand at the beginning of the next upkeep. Pretty good body on it as well. We have Ugin, the Inevitable. Uh, so our colorless spells cost two less. We can exile the top card of our library face down into a 2-2 spirit. Uh, when the token leaves the battlefield, we get to draw that card. And then for minus three, we get to exile any uh, colored permanent. And finally, our man Teferi, everyone's favorite control finisher. Uh, each opponent can cast spells only when they have, basically at sorcery speed, turns off instants. And then uh, plus one, we can basically make our sorceries into instants. And um, it's minus three, we can bounce something and draw a card. So it's actually a pretty solid, we're going to take a quick snip of this as our first crack. Pretty nice mix. Uh, so depending on our supporting cards, we might want to go blue white control um, maybe red white aggro red black aggro um, generally speaking there's not the best fixing in this format so you don't want to splash multiple colors so let's see some of the uncommons that we have first if we got any other planeswalkers we got an ashiok so spells their ability you basically can't search their libraries and it mills our opponent, and then we get to exile their graveyard. We got a couple Rubble Belt Riders. When it attacks, it gets plus X zero, where X is the greatest power. Not bad. Combat Celebrant is a Blood Artist effect. We will be building especially with this card. Elite Guild Mage, when it enters the battlefield, uh, you gain three lives and draw a card. Uh, Bond of Flourishing, uh, so basically, look through some cards, put a permanent from among them into your hand, and then the rest on the bottom. So a pretty good draw card. Uh, gain control. So it's a mind effect, like a act of treason effect. This is just a like redirect. Return it to your hands. Uh, some removal. Price of betrayal. Not bad way to get rid of Planeswalkers. We have Rescuer Sphinx. When it enters the battlefield, return an online permanent to its owner's hand if you do. So you bounce one of your own permanents and it comes in as a 4-3 flyer. Not too bad for 4 mana. We have the Wanderer. Prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures. So any sort of burn with some down tick to exile. We have Merfolk Skydiver, when it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on, target creature you control, and then Proliferate, pretty good uh, Proliferate Mana Sync, and Emergency Zone. So we have that. And then in the common, we got quite a bit in what, uh, blue at least, so we might want to do blue as our base. Uh, when it dies, Proliferate, that's pretty good with the Planeswalkers we have. This with first strike isn't too bad. Uh, whenever and at least to put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. We're not really going to be going creatures. So we have a couple options there. 3-4 flyers, not bad. 
one mana O4 with scry isn't too bad. That's pretty good. Just drawing a card, proliferating our planeswalkers. The looter is not the best in this because you have to pay two mana, but it's a 1 3 body to protect. Um, not the worst, it could deal with some of the bigger stuff. Uh, I usually like flyers just to kind of block. We're not going to be really storm, so the amass, this is a pretty good value there. The Naga is not that good. Mass 3 is fine. This is pretty good as well. So black looks to have quite a bit more. So we have removal and Soren's Thirst. Uh, a good way to kind of sink some mana late game, some more removal. Uh, when it gains haste until end of turn. Some discard, but at 3 mana. So not the best. What do we have artifact wise? Just a filter. When it enters the battlefield, put one on target creature. This is a good mana, like a uh, just mana fixing. Gets cheaper with Ugin. Sahili Silverwing gets cheaper with Ugin. We do have the option of going red. Deals 5 damage, and battlefield, gain control, got a couple of those that aren't bad removal. I still think we play blue white here, it's probably our best bet. So let's do all, and let's do blue white. Alright. So here we'll add everything good that we have. So we have the Jace, we have Teferi, we have that, we have Ashiok. Oh, we got two Ashioks. We can go straight mill. All right, we're playing mill. <laughs> so this is just a way to deal with, we'll use it as removal. Uh, it might be too high on the curve. So we just want like dorks at the beginning of the game just to block, keep our planeswalkers alive. Um, we'll just add this in and then see what we want to cut. The looter's not bad body. It can be removal, like that. Play a couple of those because they're cheap. Uh, I don't know how good this is. Four, you're basically paying 4 mana for a 3-3, three, three, which feels bad. The epiphany's good. And then let's see what we have colorless wise. We'll play Ugin. Maybe some of these. Some of these. It's not terrible. Alright, so we got a lot of cards. Let's cut down a bit now. So let's see. So Wall of Ruins is a good blocker. Leon protects our Planeswalkers. This allows us to proliferate. This could make combat a little awkward. Card draw is good. Filtering and a 1-3. Somewhat removal. Early flyer. Early blocker. Whenever this and at least two put a counter on it. Whenever another creature or Planeswalker controls dies. So this could get pretty big. Probably cut these. Aven Eternal's nice. The Mana Geode. Um, this could reset a Planeswalker for us. We have Sahili, Silverwing. Probably not good enough. Don't want that. We have a Do we want Mana Geode? So on turn 3 it ramps us into 5, but we don't really have anything to play on 5. And I don't think playing that just for the scry is worth it. And then probably get rid of the prismite. Like we're not consistent, like if we could play 6 mana, paying this for free isn't worth it. And I don't, we're not being greedy with the mana that we need the filtering. 
so we're probably okay. We'll test this out. Cool, cool. So, Teferi, lead us. So for those who want to give a, a snap of the deck. So not bad. We got a couple Planeswalkers in here. Uh, we have actually a pretty solid overall. Just want to get a couple snaps in for the first, then we'll, we'll run it back. All right, so as we get started, um, for those of you new, my name is MTG Joe. I uh, put videos up on YouTube, try to do it a couple times a week. We play mainly constructed with the occasional limited, everything from drink to con tier one. Um, if you enjoy the content on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe. It's a free and easy way to show your support to the channel. So we'll get started. We have some early interaction and a way to draw some cards. Contentious plans, so we'll keep this. So we have Ashiok on three. So opponents on some sort of Izip plan. So here we'll play this out. Uh, next turn, if we hit a blue source, I'll play Ashiok to start milling. If we don't, then we'll just double spell. Alright, so first strike, as long as it's your turn, it has first strike. Uh, sacrifice, another creature, gets plus 2 0. Oh. Okay, so we hit that. So let's just start milling. Dream big tonight. I am you. I am return. So, and we exile it. So, we got Raging Crunch, Ashiok, Skulker, and Commence the Endgame, which is a really good card to hit. Opponent's a little greedy on the mana. Uh, so here we need to decide if we want to try to block. I think we do. Ashiok's probably worth more. They would have been able to kill it by sacking as well, so this allows us to at least get one or two more activations at Ashiok. Tap target creature with converted mana cost two or greater. So let's start by using Ashiok here. Oh, I think we hit a Nahiri there. So we hit Nahiri, Ral's Outburst, Devouring Helion. Some really good cards we're hitting. War Screecher. So here... So we have the option of proliferating here, bring it to four, and playing out the wall. They could then hit it to effectively... Let's lead with this, see what we have on top. I don't want lands. So the Sphinx can block... Let's go Contentious Blinds here. Let's proliferate. Okay, so we have Ugin. Ugin can start giving us a nice stream of creatures. Blocking here will force them into sacking one of their creatures if they want. They're going after Ashiok, that's fine. See if they want to sack, they don't. So we need to decide if we want to keep Ashiok alive. It's actually pretty solid. Hopefully he gets us to the next land. When it dies, proliferate. So we'll keep that for another turn. So I'm going to hang on to Ashiok. Uh, they can tap this and then attack it in. So you know what, let's do it. They're going to kill it anyways, so might as well get him closer to milling. I leave. Uh, so we hit a bunch of lands. I you slumber. And a 
another erratic. So not bad. Ashiok hit 12 cards. They're at 16. We're at 23 life. If we draw land, we have Ugin. Can start drawing his cards and creatures. So we'll just block here. Oh, you know what? Let's keep it alive for now, in case we do want to drop the Ugin. It gives us something to protect with. Ugin coming down with 5, creating a creature is also pretty solid. They'll spend their turn looting. Power 4 greater. They don't really have anything right now. So here we need to decide, I think we do this, try to find a land, okay so we want probably all these cards, let's do it like this. Here we'll play out. Play out the Sphinx this turn. Or the Lynx, not the Sphinx. Different animal. Uh, so this will allow us to block. Depending on how they attack, we might just opt because I want to play the Ugin next turn. Um, we draw the Jace. We can play the Jace after that. We can just continue to try to mill our opponent. Actually, might make more sense to. Oh, that's really good for the opponent. Ever seen water burn? You will. So menace makes it really awkward. So depending on how they attack, so here I'm gonna double block. To, uh, with the first strike. Okay, so here... Here I'm gonna go... Chase. Are they your or mine? So... Let's get the opponent to mill. We draw... And just play out the Martyr. So depending on how they go, they could amass here. This becomes four. They tap down here. So it's three. So so that's over there. They enchant that. So we're gonna block regardless. They have two, four, six. Come on. So really just want to try to draw out the game at this point. If they keep focusing on their planeswalkers. There might have been a play to attack into Angrath, but let's see how they go. So we can't two five. So no blocks. Chase soaks up a bunch of damage for us. Uh, no one likes a bully. Did that just happen? So here we can play the wander exile. And then play out the Sphinx. Just build up some blockers. And... Here, 
let's just take the Angrath off the table. Makes blocking a little easier. Best start thinking fast. You're on your own. We're at 10 cards. We have Ugin. Ugin will also help us draw some cards, which is nice. I don't really care if they attack the Wanderer. They haven't been playing that many big creatures. It's fine, they have mass there. Uh, so here, let's fake like we have something in white. Just the Reckless Wander, nothing great. Opponent does have two Flyers. It's fine, keep drawing, our life total's pretty high. They got a couple attacks in there at least that they have to focus on. Still have to ferry as well. You go after the wander. Sure. I will gladly, gladly recycle Lugan. Ah. Very nice. I'll give you that. So that's actually pretty good. So we're at 8 mana. 5, 8. And your casting cost is that. So. We'll return the, the Vanguard, get it back, gain the life, draw a card. Buffers us even further. And we can get rid of one of their flyers, which is great. Uh, might actually just be the Law Enforcer. No attacks. Don't know why you're so entranced with that card. So Enforcer can keep tapping, but if we get rid of our Flyers, this also has First Strike, so maybe just get rid, in, get rid of Oncrap. <laughs> Might be the best. We have three Flyers now. So let's do this. We're really just going to try to mill them out. We're at 21. No attacks. So they can tap this as well if they want. That's just upping the clock on them. On crop allows them to get like the biggest creature with the first strike. We can't really trade. Like if they want to attack in for two, that's fine, they can. Um, I'm just going to take it. They might have a pump effect. My life total is high enough that we can wait a couple turns. Kefna. Okay. 
So we need some blockers there. So we'll just pass the turn here. So opponent hits a bomb when it dies. Exile, you may third from the top. So just throw blockers in here and there. That was sweet. <laughs> Doesn't do much. So we'll see if the opponent wants to block with Kefnet or attack with Kefnet. This keeps our life total higher, so I'm fine with doing so. Gives him an extra draw, but slows him down. Let's see if they tap down here. They do, which is fine. So we'll just end turn. We'll keep the lands in hand so we can discard to the visionary. Forcer Griffin, it's fine. Let's see what we get. Wow, just hitting all our lands now. No attacks here. Opponent will tap down, that's three damage. Gotta survive a couple turns. Visionary gives us another blocker. It also gives us multiple draws if we need it. Probably double block if they attack in with the enforcer. They opt not to. So it's seven power in here. Hello to Fairy. Thank you for showing up. Let's slow this down. This might just be enough. There was a play to bounce our own Vanguard, but so they could tap one of our things. It's just past the turn. Again, cool if they attack the fairy. They have two turns left to try to beat us. They come to us. It's only seven damage next turn. See what we got. So here, let's scry. Oh, can we draw that somehow? Yes, we can. Ashiok for the win. Exile our opponents. No! No, 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 no! Oh, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. I clicked the wrong card. Let's 
So hopefully we don't get punished. They don't have the oh, pump protection. spell. If they do, we're dead. Oh no, that is awful. Why would I do that? Punt, punt, punt. Okay, so we still won. Oh, I would have been so upset. <laughs> oh, okay, so we got the win. Millimote is a plan. It has worked. It was fabulous. So we win 400 gems there. So I'll play one more on the stream. These games tend to go quite long, so I really just want to demo the deck, some of the cool cards that we're playing. I don't want to draw this out for like an hour to two hour video. Um, the thought process and building sealed is important, and just seeing like the cards you play. Uh, so this hand doesn't do anything. So let's mulligan. This hand's a lot better. I like the plans. Opponent's blue black. So here I like going Sky Tether. Depending on how our opponent plays out, we might go Ashiok next. Grixis. So likely some sort of a mass. What do you got? Okay, so opponent's not pressuring us right now. No attacks here. So we got the Amass guy. Okay, so opponent's basically on Grixis Amass. Price of Betrayal. Nice one by the opponent. Mana Geode. Opponent might have Nickel Bolas. Uh, so here, just get out the Rising Populace. Attacking for one. So they can nickel bolus this turn if they have it. So next turn we'll probably rescue our Sphinx, or we just go with the two looters. Attacking with both. Sometimes you could sneak in a free attack. Opponent loots. They're at 20. This kind of works in our own favor. If stuff starts dying, it's not the worst for us. So we're going to attack with everything here. It's disgusting. <laughs> so let's just return. Let's return a visionary. Next turn, we contentious plans. My has Sahili. This is my favorite planeswalker in the set. I just love being rewarded for just doing nothing. Just playing burn spells and stuff. So that was nice by the opponent. And they amass. Yeah. Well, this one was quick, so. We'll give the opponent the good game there. This is that crazy deck. This gives us some bodies. Just attack.
back in. I will craft your demise. So they can make one of these tokens a copy. Oh, this is just Grixis spell. This deck's awesome. Oh, nice clean attack. And with the contentious. Pretty much dead here. Opponent's gone pretty wide, they can make a copy, no problem. Let's see what we draw, but I think we're dead. So we'll give the opponent the good game there. So that was a showcase of what our deck doesn't do. Still pretty sweet. So let's, uh, that was pretty quick. Let's go one more. One and one. So Grixis seems really strong. The mass spells seem pretty good, especially in limited where the removal doesn't seem that clean. Doesn't do anything. Okay, sounds better. Deal with a big threat. Jace is a buffer. Wall can help us. Don't think we want that now. Want to hit some lines. Because with wall, we don't get the draw because we play first, so we see that anyway, so this allows us to see the most amount of cards. I'm gonna keep the land only because I want it guarantees us being able to cast Jace. This should be able to block early stuff. Jace goes up to five toughness. Trangler, Trampler, whenever power, you get to put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. It's fine. This can deal with it if it gets big. We have Jace afterwards as well. Getting Jace going. You've already lost. You just don't know it. Let's try this. So no attacks here. Like we can mill ourselves, but I think just getting really good card value out of this is probably the best option. And just disrupting our opponent's deck. These greedy mana bases I don't think are going to work. Like Grixis worked out okay because you have the dual color spells. Maybe that's a concession with the hybrid mana. When it dies, a mass one. So let's get the most information possible. Always Oh, that's good. So we can use it as a blocker, get Jace up higher. Uh, no attacks here. So we hit the Vraska, which was really nice. And some removal. Jace could refill our hand as well. If we draw land next turn, we can play out both of them. Just be mana efficient. This can help us proliferate on top.
opponents taking their time. This is opponent had the answer. We figure out a solution. And that's why I wasn't really big into the self mill. So here, here I like holding back, the reason being there's no benefit playing at this turn and we can loot. I don't think we're gonna loot anyways. Just in case we hit like an Ashiok or something, we want to hold lands. Should probably should have held that land. So any future lands we'll hold. Does this have trample? No. Opponents have 24 cards in library. some pressure this can block at least same idea turn here we'll loot away the planes I don't think we have anything double white in our deck uh, da -da -da -da, no double white we're actually pretty much base blue so what does Kaya do exile target creature your opponent and permanence you control you your opponents and permanents your opponent's control hex root can be target. That's fine. I faced undead horrors. This is We'll Charles exile Flint. this next turn. See what they decide to exile here. I That's play by okay. my own. I'm gonna make myself scarce. Keeps things interesting. We'll take the attack from the weird this turn. It doesn't really benefit us at all. Let's loot here. Awesome. To fairy. The only companion is so we'll exile that. Go to combat. Pack everything into Kaya. Don't think this is good enough for constructed. For six mana, you're gonna want to do a lot more. See if they want to throw anything in the way. They might be inclined not to. Not they do. Block both and keep it alive, but it doesn't actually do anything. This opponent have a pump spell. If they do, it's really a waste. Lucky hit. No. Nope. You better watch your back from here on out. So we'll proliferate here and just play out the other erratic vision. I think we're in a good spot. We can start bouncing stuff if need be. 
Just keep upping to fairy. attack for two here because I want to be able to loot. Try to find like an Ashiok or something. That's fine. They have all the mana in the world. Their mana base is very greedy. And we have Ugin to seal this up. Let's play Ugin. Sorry, just saving something. Let's. That's really good with Teferi and all our planeswalkers. Here we go. Here, let's just attack everything. And we'll call this a turn. So they got rid of Ugin. Uh, we still have the body there. We're threatening their life total. We have Teferi that can slowly close in on bouncing, exile any of their big stuff. Deals two damage to any target. Return. So here we can probably get a little cheeky with Teferi. This might be a bad idea. So they'll attack in like this. If they block it, because this will proliferate, then we can bounce their creature. We'll see if they just do it without the bounce. So they do. And get that to hand. We play this, proliferate both of them. Oh, that doesn't let us bounce. Mm. That was my mistake, my mistake. So we can play this with the scry. So they can deal two damage. to the hand. Just see what's on top. Don't want the land. And turn. So we do need to start threatening our opponent's life total a bit more. So they can bounce a few lands and then shoot to fairy down. This increases our clock quite a bit. Oh, this actually turns it off, which is pretty sweet. So we'll just bounce it with Teferi. Wander turns off the non-combat damage. This is shield damage, so it shuts it off. 18 cards, 14. That's also nice. So let's just slow him down. Let's try this. Ta 
back into three. Play out Ashiok. Start milling our opponent. Behold. I hit you business to attend to anyway. Just end the turn there. So would we hit off that last one? Oh, that could have made a lot of citizens, return permanence, that was a good one to hit. Another spark harvest, an opponent concedes. So some solid games so far, the deck looks awesome, the set seems really fun, a lot of interesting cards in it. And uh, we'll wrap it up there, gonna fill us, finish this league, I'll let you know in the comments how we finished. My dog wants to go for a walk, so that will wrap that up. So anyways, thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Thanks.